Okay, let's go on crude oil. Let's go over limit orders, how we do limit orders here, guys and gals. Very important. Let's, let's take a look at this. All right, we have three market profiles that we deal with. Market profile, this takes all the volume in the market, this solid red, solid blue, and solid green levels, thick lines. That's a roadmap of the market. Roadmap of the market. So what we want to do is we want to know where to buy and sell off of based upon the roadmap. We have three market profile levels. We have the solid red, solid blue, solid green. That's called volume profile. It's been around since 1994. We have the solid red dots and the solid green dots. That's the price profile. That's been around since 1985, 32 years. The small little red line, small little green line, that's called a developing profile. So we got three profiles. We have volume, thick red. Price profile, the dots, developing profile, the thin red line that, that ticks, uh, that shows you support and resistance as the market ticks. This is your roadmap of the market. It's going, to it's going to tell you where to buy and sell. What happens is, is we call this a brick wall on the low and high. It's called the low and high down the market. What we can do in crude oil is, first of all, the first thing we do on any market we trade, the system works on all markets, doesn't matter. The first thing we do is we look at the trend. We first look at this magenta MA. That's the first thing we do when we sit down at our trading desk. If it is flat as a pancake, we're going to sell the high and we're going to buy the low. We're going to sell the high, we're going to buy the low on market profile. We're not going to trade the blue line, which is the most volume that's traded. We're going to sell the high, buy the low. So when we're selling the high and buying the low in a flat or range market like this, you can put limit orders in. And how you put limit orders in, if, if three of these market profile levels, like the low and high that just happened, if those levels, when we're sitting right here, before this even went down, I told traders in the room that we're going to sell the high and buy the low. Well, I teach traders, these members in the room, that you can put limit orders in if they're stacked within a couple ticks of each other. You see my developing profile to the right margin was 5708. My volume profile right here, take the lowest one, is 5706. So I find the highest market profile and the lowest market profile, and if they're within three or four ticks of each other, I will look to put a limit order in in the middle of that stack. So your limit order in on that last cell is 5707. So 5707 is your limit order to go short. Once you start rolling down, you have a hard stop loss. Most traders do less than 10 ticks, 8 to 10 ticks stop loss on the limit order in. If you're doing limit order limit orders, most traders risk 80 to 100 bucks on a limit order per one contract. So if you look, it already moved down all the way down to 96 already when we're sitting up here and I'm looking for a short. So there's your limit order in at 5707. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. You originally go in at 8 to 10 ticks. Once it starts rolling down, drop your stop loss down to two ticks above the swing high. So you had a hard stop originally of 80 to 100 bucks, and you dropped it down to a $30 possible loss on this trade because it's two ticks above the swing high. Your stop loss is 57.10 on this trade. We're trying to get down to LVA. So right now, we're already, you're at 96. You're up $110 per one contract. You risk a total of $30 right here is our risk. So risk in 30, up 110. That's how we trade brick walls. We're going to try to get down, you scale, try to get down to LVA. Right here's another brick wall. Check this out. Look out three profiles stacked on top of each other. Here's another limit order. We had the low price profiles at 56.87, and the high was 57.88. So you can take it one tick above the low if you want, or the middle. Your, your limit order right there is 57.88. Your stop loss was 57.85. You had a three tick stop loss on both sides of the market. This actually moved 88 all the way to 8. So you had a $200 trade to the upside, and your, your, your stop loss, you initially go in at $80 to $100 risk per one contract. For your stop loss, two ticks below the swing low. You risk 30 bucks on this side, and you risk 30 bucks on this side after it got rolling. Your initial would be $80 risk total on each side of the market. So you had a $200 move up here, and you had a $100 move down here per one contract. And we know to sell the high and buy the low because it is a flat market. So that's how you can trade brick walls. And members in here do this very, very well, long-term members. They know what to do. They know if you are stacked, and those three profiles are stacked, 
within three ticks of each other, and the trend is flat range. Because see, most traders can't trade range markets. They don't know where to buy and sell. And that's the difference between being an amateur trader and a professional trader. You must know how to sell range, just as you know how to sell trend. Like yesterday, our trade was what? Our trades are here to sell with trend. This is a trend market, trend up. We buy retracements. Look at the magenta MA. Look how we break retest, break retest, break retest, break retest, break retest. Trend markets are really relatively easy because all you do is let profile break out, retest, pause the market delta. Profile break out, retest, pause the market delta. But you must know how to trade flat markets. You must know how to trade if the range is flat. Now, if I go this morning, look at the flat. You know, if I go this morning, we're flat as a pancake. So what do we do? If we're flat, doesn't mean you can't trade the markets. You can sell the high, you can buy the low and brick walls. So we had a nice $300 potential, con a $300 trade per one contract on both sides of the markets this morning already. We'll try to get down to LVA. Now what's eventually gonna happen is, is what, what do we go? We go from trend and we got crude oil inventories today. We'll go back into, uh, we will go from chop, I'm sorry, or range back into trend again. So what we're gonna anticipate is, is you can sell and buy the brick wall in the first and second test of the area. Then after that, don't do it anymore. Wait for the market to simply break out. You'll see, it's a crude oil inventory, you see a breakout like this. Then you'll see a retest of that brick wall. And then we're gonna to try to get negative market delta and see if it can get a trade right off that, that uh, inflection point or break out the same way. You can break through the brick, continue, crew's been in a hard move up the past week. Once continue higher and try to get to 60, then we'll see that today. So we know our next trade is going to be what? We're gonna trade out the brick wall again. We're either gonna break, sell, uh, buy the break retest or sell the break retest. And that's what it's been doing for 32 years. This is not lagging indicators, it's very leading. Not your opinion. Your opinion means nothing in the market. This is actual order flow coming in the market. So that's how we trade limit orders. But the, the three profiles got a stack. Uh, you shouldn't trade limit orders if it's not three profiles stacked within a few ticks of each other because uh, then you should wait for market delta to pop you in the trade. But it's easier doing it. The limit orders there when they're stacked than waiting for market delta turn. See, market delta turned here at the low, and the market delta turned it here at the high. And that's great for trend markets. Market delta works great. But when you get in chop range, instead of waiting for market delta to get you in here, right, you could be getting it in right there. It's a nice little. It's a nice little way we trade in the in the market. And good job, um, good job to Pat. Good job, good job, man. Good job, Earl, and good job, Reed. They're long term members. They know how to trade it. They just sold the high, bought the low. And Earl did on, on gold also. So that's how that's how you do that. And hey, everybody give Earl congratulations. 100 ticks. Emailed me last week. 100 ticks on, on a few markets. Again, nice job, man. He's cranking them out. Cranking them out. Another 100 tick day for Earl. You got to trade the system. Don't let the system trade you guys and gals. Another 100 tick day.